prime my eyes. Um, I'm going to do a mixture of two products actually. I have um, a NYX HD concealer and uh, the Shiseido Shimmering Cream Eye Color in BL711. Yeah, it's serious. So I'm going to put this on my lid and I'm going to apply the NYX one to uh, just kind of like above my crease. You could obviously have um, just used whatever concealer you cleaned up your eyebrows with if you used concealer to clean up your eyebrows. Um, I think the Studio Finish is just a little thick for my particular eyelids. I'm just going to use my finger with the uh, blue. And these are not like uber pigmented, but they do add a little bit of the color I'm kind of going for today. I'm feeling good about that. So, I'm going to set my brow bone and down to the crease with Coastal Sense M04 Hot Pot, which is like one of uh, my go-to shades for the brow bone. I'm not going to do anything to that blue shadow just, uh, the blue cream shadow just yet because I am going to start building colors into my crease. First shade I'm going to take is Birkin, which is um, a pinky purpley tan shade. Those are a lot of shades, I think. I know, I'm bad at describing shades, it's fine. It's fine. And I'm going to take a BH Cosmetic number 12 brush. Applying this into my crease, and I'm gonna build up this color to the intensity that I am looking for. I'm gonna use a shade that is a little bit more purple. This is Dusty Rose, and it's kind of like a darker version of uh, Birkin, but just a wee bit more kind of like mauvey purple. I'm gonna take that on this brush and it's just a little bit less fluffy than the brush I used before because as I move closer to the lid I want to use more compact less fluffy brushes because I'm concentrating the color a lot more so now I'm gonna start to build up that color into the crease again until I get the intensity that I am Okay, so I'm happy where the shade is right now. So I'm going to go even deeper into the crease. And I'm gonna use Fig One. This is just a really nice mid-tone purple and I'm going to apply this deep into my crease I'm using this kind of bullet style brush. And I'm again building this color to the intensity that I am looking for. So now I'm going to take a brush that I used for that dusty mauve shade and I'm going to lightly go around the edges of this purple just to make sure that transition is smooth. I'm liking it already. I'm going to be taking a purple shade out of the Vegas Nay Stardust palette. Best purple shade. But I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this color and I'm gonna um, blend that up. That, my friends, is purple. Gonna take that brush I use with Dusty Rose again to blend this 
out. So I'm gonna go back to the blue shade and I'm gonna apply a little bit more and I'm gonna just re-intensify that cream. I'm gonna take another shade by MAC and this color, I don't know if they sell in an individual and this, this palette is old as girl old. And um, this is, I'm pretty sure, called either Heather Bells, and I think this one is Romping. I don't know, but this is just a uh, deep, cool navy color. Cool in tone is, I mean, well, it is a cool shade as well, but any navy eyeshadow would do. You could use black, you could use a much darker purple. Um, it really is up to you. I'm just choosing to use this shade because it's in my stash. I'm going to use a flat shader brush and I'm going to dip it into this shade. I'm going to start placing this onto my lid. I'm going to start kind of closer to the lash line and then I'm going to work my way up towards the crease. Now I'm just going to go in and deepen up the color by packing on more eyeshadow. Okay, so now here's where I'm going to work on blending out those harsh edges. And so what I'm going to do is take the same purple shade that I applied into the crease originally and that's going to help make that transition from blue to purple a lot more seamless. Then I'm gonna go back in with this brush and kind of tug at the edges and I'm gonna be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You'll see what I'm doing. Now I feel a lot more comfortable with the way that my crease is looking. I'm gonna just um, build up the pigment on my lid a little bit more because it kind of got, you know, blended away in the process. Ooh. What I'm going to do at this stage is highlight under my brow bone. I'm going to use a little bit of my Becker, Becker? I'm going to use a little bit of my Becker. I'm going to use a little bit of my Becca Opal. I'm going to take a really small brush and I'm going to concentrate this right at the kind of arch of my brow and then I'm going to kind of just smooth it out on the tail. I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye area. I did clean up my eyeshadow with my concealer, if you can tell here. So I'm gonna connect my lower lash line to my top lash line. I'm gonna first start off with um, that purple shade, the darkest purple shade that I used. And I'm gonna apply that to my lower lash line. Like that. Now I'm going to use an even smaller brush and I'm going to take that navy-ish color that I put on my eye. Put that on there. Very close to the lash line. So um, now what I'm going to do is to just finish off the eyes. I did apply my liner, which is just the Rimmel London Exaggerate Black Mechanical one. I put that on my upper and bottom waterline situation. Then I put on a little bit of Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. And then I applied the House of Lashes Siren Lash. And so that's where I'm at right now. I kind of just want to highlight my inner corners just a wee bit. So I'm going to take that Becca highlighter that I use on my brow and also my face. And I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to put that on my inner corner. Yeah, I like that. And for lips, I think I'm gonna go a super brown. I haven't done that before. 
um, and this is a new product to me. So this is my NYX lip liner in brown. I'm just gonna line my lips real fast. So I lined and filled in my lips real fast, and so now I'm gonna go over top with this NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in Downtown Beauty. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Downtown Beauty, and it's just a really pretty brown shade. I'm so excited to put this on my lips. <gasps> yep, so that completes this look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this clubby makeup tutorial and that it does prove useful to you. I think this look is, again, perfect for brown eyes. If you have green eyes, it might work as well because it's got that purple situation going on. I don't know. But it is a really cute look, um, and I think it's perfect for my outfit. I think that blue was like spot on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.